Zakia Sankara Jabbar. I am an MCPS parent, a black male student, and I am also the co-director, co-executive director for Racial Justice Now. Uh, Racial Justice Now is a community organization uh, that centers the needs of black parents, black families, and black students, and we work specifically to end the school to prison pipeline. Uh, I am here specifically to talk about uh, what I see as systemic uh, anti-blackness uh, that is deepened within some of our MCPS schools and certainly within the system itself. MCF, MCPS likes to prize, prize itself on uh, being equity driven and, you know, type statements and reports. However, uh, the OLO report from the Office of Legislative Oversight uh, from Dr. Elaine Bonner Tompkins, which we had the opportunity to work with her over the last year, looked at student discipline data. Uh, and I, you know, can't believe that the student discipline data has not only uh, increased for black students, right, uh, it hasn't improved at all uh, when it comes to disproportionality of school discipline for the same infractions that other uh, demographic students um, uh, do as well, but black students, particularly black male students, receive the harshest punishment. Um, and I was also um, horrified uh, to see the response to the fight uh, that we all saw on social media uh, between BCC and WJ students. Uh, my organization is well aware of the uh, systemic anti-blackness that, ex that exists in that particular quadrant of this school district. And we do not believe that enough has been done on the part of this school board and this superintendent to protect black students from the toxic environment of anti-blackness in that particular school system. We have mountains of evidence of black students taken to Instagram, creating documentaries over the last several years, detailing the experiences that they have as black students uh, in those schools. And so I just want to end by saying, I hope that MCPS, the school board and the superintendent take seriously the students' needs and black students in this district and to make sure that you're taking the steps necessary to end the school.